G'day everyone and welcome back to Tom's Rook Farm. So uh, Dad's back out here now. He's going to give us a hand with the chase events. Today we're going to attack uh, the Grain King first. I think that's going to be the easier of the two. Maybe. <laughs> so we're going to change the auger on that and then we're also going to do the wheel bearing on the Wildcats. So that's all done and that way we, if anything breaks or stuffs up or doesn't fit, we've got plenty of time before harvest to uh, crack into that. But we've got a, we had a mail delivery on Friday. And Dad was like, well, what's that? And I said, well, hang on, we'll start the video and I'll show everybody. Off we go. Oh, I know what it is. It's how do I, it's a chemical wash. No, well, water wash. So that's, that's the hand piece? That's yep. the shower? Well, I mean, we'll fill it up now. And, Give it a test. It's just like a, uh, a normal, well, not a normal fire extinguisher. Some people might have the fire extinguishers. We've got a couple of them where you fill up with your own stuff and then you just pressurise it with air. So that's what we're going to do with this. So if anyone wants to know, it's just a portable nine litre eye and body wash. I don't know if I'd be squirting this in my eyes. There'd probably be a bit too much pressure, but they're nice and light when they're, uh, very <laughs> wise. That's why I'm sitting here. So when Henry gets something on him, ah, that's maybe you would use that for your eyes. <laughs> the uh, diffuser screen in there works quite well. well there you go. <laughs> Have a drink from it. <laughs> <laughs> no, perhaps not. <laughs> Mind you, if you're going to wash your eyes out, you should be able to drink. You should from be able to drink from it. Yeah. I think you're going to have to tighten. You might have to tighten that properly. Yeah. But there you go. If anyone is wanting a portable thingy, there you go. That's what they are. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Ideal for camping. <laughs> Put that on the fire, heat it up. <laughs> so we are now going to attack the uh, chaser bin here. And uh, let's just take this old auger out and put the new auger in. And hopefully it's just as simple as what I just explained. Uh, yeah. Basically just under the, the bolt at that end and then you slide the auger the whole way out so we'll be having the telehandler and the forklift just to lift it onto that and then we'll be uh, put it side by side with this one just to make sure it is correct. That's what we did with the other one and that's how we found out we had a, uh, a different auger and it will be correct and then we just lift it up and put it in, bolt it up and then we'll probably pull out a, chase, uh, a tractor and just make sure we can fold it and it all runs smoothly and everything like that. And uh, once that job is done, because that's going to be super easy, uh, we're going to go on to the, uh, the wildcat there, do the wheel bearing, which, which won't be easy. Righto. You got miles of clearance, you hit, you, you're fine. Dad's just bringing the cage up so we can get uh, for this side. We won't be using the cage for this side, it'll be pallets. Um, not as entirely safe as you can be, but that's all you can do when you're pulling this out. You've got to use the tools you can. And, uh, we're also doing this on a uh, very hot day, so it's going to be 31 degrees today. Henry will probably be here when it comes time for us to do the, uh, uh, what's it called, 
the wheel bearing because uh, he won't be able to see it anymore. But So we've got them both side by side and uh, from what we can tell they look they look the exact same <laughs> which they didn't like I was explaining in the other video they didn't when we uh, did the bottom auger because now what was it why why did you change the gearbox at the bottom is it because um, it kept breaking it, it was like a chain drive and it kept yeah the chain drive was compromised and wasn't working so this was a local engineer's solution and got rid of that and it was a more direct power. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I I see the gearbox kept breaking, but there you go. It was it was chains yeah. kept breaking. So that's why it was different when we went to put it in last year. But this year it's fine. And uh, you can probably see a bit more of uh, what we welded up last year. So all this had come out and then I think just on this side we've just um Oh yeah, there was, it was all ripped out here as well and, and then we used that for some structural support and you can see the the um, barrel itself is getting a bit worn out. I mean, it's been in there for, this is an 03 model, isn't it? Yeah. So it's done pretty well. These are wear parts. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Oh, well, we'll crack this open and chuck it in. Why not? That's Easy. adventurous. So the, uh, the good thing about buying a new auger is obviously it comes with new parts. So uh, we've got a new spring that'll go in uh, just up the top there. And then uh, the other one, me and Zach can go up into the loft. The, uh, I've taken it off. The, the holder, uh, the lock collar up the top there. This will be, the old one will be now be the spare up the top. And then because we only just changed that bearing and bearing housing last year when it broke, We'll take this one off and put this one in the loft as well. So then we've got plenty of spares for uh, if yeah, anything at the top was to break. Nearly there. <laughs> See if I can pop that there without losing it. Alright, you're up. Got about 20 centimeters. All right, we're there. Hang on. Forward. Hang on, hang on. Now we're going through the bearing. We're going through the. Bearing. We're about to go through the bearing. Just wait. I don't know if we're lined up or not. I don't know. Maybe give it a push. No, hang on. I'm gonna stop, stop. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna grab the, the telehandler and bring it around here. Because yep. I just can't see the bearing. And I think we I think we're trying to go in on a like a slight angle. 
So. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it should fit in this bearing housing. It's like lined up. Yeah. Just hang on. Yeah, yeah, well. Forward. All right, you're in, you're in now. So. Are we in further than what we were? No, I don't think so. Yep. Yeah, 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 perfect. Now, uh, you've got the bolt. <laughs> I'll come down and grab it. All good. All right, like I said, a nice, simple, easy job. That's in. And yeah, the, uh, you know, it's like hanging out there, so that's good. It's the same length as that one, so we should have no issues. We still need to run it up with a tractor. We will do that later on. Uh, we'll focus on doing the wheel bearing first because that's a bigger job. Uh, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll probably have some smoke and then we'll move this out of the way. Grab the Wildcat and we've got to figure out which tyre or wheel we're going to do and then we'll hopefully be able to bring it in the shed, but we'll see. All right, out with the Grain King and now with the Wildcat, but the Wildcat, even though it's a tandem axle, that drawbar has got uh, at least three to four ton of pressure on it. Whereas that, it's much more well balanced. It's all, you know, you can lift it up with the forklift, no worries. If we try to lift that with the forklift, the forks bend, the tires bulge, it's very iffy. So we're uh, gonna pull out the ute so hopefully its battery isn't flat but we'll uh we'll find out in about 20 seconds well we've had a screen fall down it's always good Perfect. I'm pretty sure it's that back one, which means it puts us on the wrong side, so we can't do it in the shed. We've still got uh, Grover sitting out. Uh, Danny is going to come today, so today's a Monday. Uh, so uh, we're going to work on it over by the shed there, so we're close to everything. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to get in Danny's way with the uh, chase spin, so we're just going to try and get as far as we can over that side, just so we're clear and out of his way but there's still enough room for us to work on this all right we uh, are pretty sure it's this one here that we that we uh, that hasn't been changed um, the other ones we're all gonna check again and probably just add some fresh grease into this one here when we pop it off it's probably gonna look fine but yeah we should probably change it anyway because the other ones have all gone we don't want to be doing it during harvest the uh, other thing which we're uh, Probably going to bite us in the butt, but the uh, this, the um, bushings in these two pins here on both sides are a bit flogged out, uh, and it's not really something that's easily changed. The, the guys who manufacture these now, they don't, they've gone away from it, haven't they? Uh, well, they went out of business. Someone bought the um, design, yeah, and they. Modified like they've changed the, that. Yeah, yeah. They modified their pin system. Yeah, so I don't even know if we can get bushings for it anymore. Uh, so yeah, that's something that could go wrong on us. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, 
hard to just see. Well, no, grab a lever. Uh. Oh, there's no movement in it, but all, all, the, others all the others have failed. So I think just to do a bit of pre maintenance, I think we change it regardless. Because yes. remember how, like when we took them off, the back one was always like had no grease. Yeah. So. So there we go, we've got a tyre off, there's a hub, if anyone doesn't know what a hub looks like, that's a hub. <laughs> and well, do you want to turn it? And can you get any wiggle movement or not? No, but it's, it should be fairly tight, but it is quite tight to turn, so. Indicating something could be a drift. So, like we've, uh, we're a broken record here, but this one hasn't been changed in a, since we've had it. We've done the other three. This one, like Dad was saying before, probably doesn't need it. But just to save us a, uh, a day of being down out in the paddock, we're gonna just do it now. Um, that, way we've, that way we both know that there's brand new bearings in there and it's gonna hold. The other thing we're gonna do, uh, well, when, uh, when we've taken them off, they've looking, looked okay from the front, but it's the back bearing that but it doesn't really get the grease, so that's the one that we're sort of concerned about. Um, and you know, if you leave it too long, you can score the the hub, the actual hub itself. So we obviously don't want to do that. Look at all that lovely grease. Beautiful. So last year, after we did the second one. We, uh, we took the hub off, well, sorry, we took the cap off and we just re-greased everything just to make sure it would make it through, uh, through harvest. So uh, it looks good here, but yeah. We could be taking off a perfectly good bearing, but at least we know we're putting a brand new one on for harvest. Not even going to need. Mm. Good thing we're washing this because I've got a little bit of gravel on my fingers. Yeah. Have we got somewhere we're going to lay that down? Going to get maybe that block of wood. Mm -hmm. Just so you can put it somewhere for now and then. Wash her off. Jesus. Yep. Can't move the whole bearing. Just go back a little bit. Yep. Do you want to swap positions or see around? Men, yeah, do you want to get your finger or not? Yeah, I've got the camera. I've got another uh, greasy finger. Right. So, uh, Oh, our seal stayed on, obviously. So yeah. this, this here's our seal that oh, um, I was showing you guys before. 
Now, if you look at these bearings in here, there's the grease is all dried. This would have lasted what? Maybe canola? Yeah. So never doubt yourself. I was <laughs> doubting myself for a little bit there, so oh no, we shouldn't take we'd be right, but when you look at that, the um hopefully you guys can see it properly, but yeah, all these bearings here are dry. So it's all this dry, hard grease and yeah. Never doubt yourself. <laughs> Preventative maintenance is always better than, ah, <laughs> oh, she'll be right, mate. <laughs> Today's grease removal is sponsored by Pepsi Max. Yeah. It feels to be a whole lot of nastiness in there. Yeah, well that grease that fell out was hard. But, it's lumpy, but it's not like, there's no, there's no shards yeah. in there. Oops. God, that was dry. Look at it. Mm. We want to try and hit the cup out while we're here. Uh, it's going to make a bit of a mess of your bench, but yeah. Well, we can try it here. That's why they call me Latin. One, ah, ah, ah. Now you do the other side. There you go. Sparkly water break. <laughs> oh Sometime later that day. <laughs> Twelve hours later. Just want to make sure I'm not going to. Sure, that's not going to be a gag. <laughs> Grease trap. <laughs> Today's chase bin repairs brought to you by the manufacturers of Woolworths Sparkling Water. <laughs> So, mind, mind all the gravel that I've just thrown into it. <clears throat> but you can see how dry this grease is here. You can see that this is all just dry. That needs to be wet. Moist up all the grease. Like this one. So this is the, the front bearing. You can see how I can turn that with my thumb. There's grease everywhere. This one, I can't actually turn at all. So this is what a bearing should like. Look, look, look like. And this is uh, what a bearing shouldn't look like. They can look a lot worse than that, and they have when we've had the issues. But uh, yeah, and uh, the people who go oh, a bit dirty. For those who might be a bit unfamiliar with uh, our bearings operate and sit in the hub. This is what you call the cup or the cone because it looks like a cone and it 
sits in the hub, that you, like you can tell we, we have to hit them in, and then that sits in there like that, and then that's how the, the bearing moves. So we've uh, got to replace that one, got to replace that one, replace the two at the front, and then, uh, I'm not sure if it's in frame there, but the seal here will also replace uh, normally when these, these go. They um, score and scratch the absolute crap out of these, so it's just better just to change them when you're doing the whole thing. See how buggered that was. That one. It's all a bit covered in the dirt, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was toast. Good thing we're doing it now, then. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, yeah, just to clean that up, and Dad's just starting to do the one in there. stop we can have a little chat I know that we've got quite a lot of young people who follow so just to let you know what um, what we're doing when it comes to the bearings so uh, this is obviously a, a brand new bearing and it's got no grease in it it's clean so we need to pack them a pack bearing <laughs> looks sort of like that so full of grease uh, and then it's just a slow way so yeah, old and new well packed and not packed just takes time on um, on doing it. Done it. We tried using the needle, but didn't quite work. Yeah, it doesn't penetrate enough. So. Getting a whole bunch of grease in your hand, getting the bearing, and then you're just quite literally packing it in there, packing it in there. You just keep on doing this motion. You can see we've got grease in there. You keep going until grease starts coming out the top there. So it takes a long time, but uh, that's how you properly pack a bearing. Now we're going to go back to some hitting. So if you guys can see the grease that's coming out the top there, that's uh, how you know that the uh, bearing is finally full of grease. So I've just got to keep on packing, and Henry's got to keep on hitting. Just use your hammer. If the auto quality's dropped, it's because the uh, the other GoPro is overheated. So uh, that is now all done. Now Dad's got the cap. No, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll fill the cap up with grease as well, and then we'll chuck that on there. And then on the uh, caps, they've got a grease nipple here. So we'll just add in a little bit of extra grease as well, just to make sure she's all hunky dory and ready for the season.
Well, we've got it uh, reversed up, ready to go back in the shed. Uh, we've got a few more things we actually want to check on it and uh, go over, so we're going to do that right now. But uh, that'll be for next week's video, uh, well, the next video. Uh, so, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next one, because we're going to be still working on this, and we're going to fire that one up as well. And, uh, yeah, we shall catch you in the next one.